What are you doing here, and I say? Your coin are not welcome in my village. What can you tell me about your village? Why would I talk to a Renaixe about the Gooksop? All you need to know is that this name means the village of Black Ulks. They are our friends and our companions, and like them, we do not like to be disturbed. I see. Anything else? Ulan, the King of Vignamri, wants to establish a trade agreement and sign a peace treaty with the governor of Hikmet. This sounds like something he would do. All he ever thinks about is picking up the crumbs left behind by the Renaixe. All of that in hope of breeding new life into his village, while insulting the memory of the deceased men and women who lived there. Hikmet's emissary will only sign if their merchants can move freely and in peace. They want to meet you. I am not like him. I am a Donea Eggs Regal. A proud man, not a slug. The Renaixe cannot be trusted. They are deceitful and only seek to trap us. The Donea Eggs Regal I have met were fearless. And yet you were running away from a mere meeting. By refusing to negotiate, you are only showing weakness. Nothing else. Oh, not Fradi. The worst part is that you are right. We cannot refuse this meeting without appearing weak. Fine. I will meet Ulan and his emissary. But I will not go to his village. Tell them to find me at Landristel. I will be there in a few hours. I will tell them right away. Thank you, Mordun. You really know how to talk to people. I never thought you would be able to convince Mordun. His anger towards the Renaixe is so strong. Mordun is willing to meet you at Landristel to sign a peace treaty. You really are an accomplished negotiator and diplomat, Your Excellency. I knew you would succeed. Thanks to you, the whole region will be at peace. Do you know where this place is, Ulan? Of course. In our language, Landristel means Glade of Promises. It is a sacred place, one whose peacefulness must be respected. It bodes well. In that case, we should go there at once. Yes. I will follow you. Come back to see me soon. And if luck is on our side, we will celebrate peace together. Olan is acting strangely. I do not trust him. We should go to Lan Ristel to make sure we're not being tricked. And if we want to see this encounter, we should leave now.
Let's go and rescue her. Adloredar, thank you for coming. You saved me. Dadakar said Ulan. I should have known he would betray us both. My men are dead, and now I am injured. He achieved exactly what he wanted in the end. I will have to join another clan if I do not want my whole village to suffer the consequences of my defeat. I'm sorry, Mordun. I really am. You were deceived, just like I was. Sometimes, among the stones, there can be snakes. Farewell, Bon Almanawi. And do not let yourself be betrayed again. Traitor. This meeting was meant to establish peace, and yet you have exclusively sent armed men. Mortun was a Danea ex regal. He would have never accepted an agreement with the Renaig Say. He would have endlessly attacked our merchants and our allies' caravans. We had to protect ourselves if we were to make these exchanges possible. So we did. By lying and manipulating me. I am sorry. But I was unsure that you would agree to help us if I told you the truth. I understand your anger, but keep in mind that we are now at peace, thanks to you. You are now a Karans of Ignamri, and should you seek it, you will always have our assistance. Anything else? Nothing. I must go. Greetings. What can I do for you? Why build an outpost here? Well, we do have to watch over the land surrounding the city, with the bandits, the beasts, and the natives. We don't have a lot of time to rest, you know. Anything else?
Halt! In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Lady de Sade, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way. Answer me. Why? Why are you doing this? Behold your so-called gods. Your demons. They burn. They are nothing. You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. <gasps> Get your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. Renounce your gods. Inquisitor? You! Stop where you are! The pagan stink of these soulless natives taints you. You bring demon-spawned barbarians through our gates. This man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes, and he calls us barbarians. Who are you to address me with such familiarity? I am the Inquisitor Aloysius, and you will be going nowhere lest your answers give me satisfaction. Do you believe that the God of Light is the one and only God? Don't tell me that you are going to humor this crazed assassin. If I want to complete my mission, I believe I have no other choice. Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. You cannot hide from the divinity behind politics. But very well. I leave you in divine hands. This time. I shall allow you to continue along your path. I am certain ours will cross again, and be aware that wheresoever you wander, you shall be weighed, measured, and judged.
I wish I'd been given an excuse to put this madman to the sword. But you did well. Congratulations. You are already a great diplomat. It seems to me you're being sarcastic. Me? My apologies, my lady. It wasn't my intention. Young lady, pardon me, are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin, and I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, father? Bishop Petrus, how divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young girl. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you. And then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Your Eminence, in the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I beseech you to forgive his zealous nature. His faith is absolute, and I congratulate you to have appeased him. Your faith and your diplomatic skills honor you. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor. The horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. A demon? An evil spirit? It's very strange. Oh, I know no planet worships this sort of troubled spirit. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here, where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive, and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to his majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague, and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter. Your Eminence, I salute you. Lady de Sardé, what can I do for you? Tell me about San Mateus. It is still a new city, of course, but it is already the beacon of faith in Tia Fredi. Many Teleme settlers gathered there to walk in the footsteps of our prophet, including, of course, many missionaries and inquisitors. The conversion of the island population being our main concern. Who are the missionaries? It is an order that aims to convert people 
You must have met some of its followers in Serene. Most of them leave the comfort of Teleme to visit other countries, to spread the good word. This once relatively minor order has become quite significant in recent years, and has established itself in politics in the highest positions of our nation. What can you tell me about the Ordo Luminis? This is our Order of Inquisitors. Its members are associated with a very pure version of our faith. They are in charge of tracking down heresies and ungodly cults and accomplish their tasks with zeal. The discovery of this island and island magic is obviously a real challenge for them, which sometimes leads them to behave a little out of passion, as you have seen. You seem to know Father Petrus well. What can you tell me about him? Do I frighten you so much that you do not dare question me directly, my child? Come on, Petrus. Our young legate probably wants an outside opinion on the person accompanying her. In response to your questions, Your Excellency, Petrus belongs to the Order of the Missionaries. He spent many years in different countries bringing the light. He is a shrewd diplomat and a devious politician, but I am sure you will appreciate his services. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. What can I do for you, my child? What was your role at my uncle's court? Were you already an ambassador? No, but I was part of the embassy. I had only just started my career as a diplomat back then. Teleme was hoping to convert the congregation and they had sent me to spread the word. I tried to teach you some of the basics because you had a predisposition for magic, but you were so young. You preferred to run around the halls with a wooden sword in hand chasing your cousin. I will see you later, Father. Take care, my child. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing.
Please. I come because of a message that was sent to me. Wait. This is the Ono Menawi of the Lugade Blah. The one we wanted to talk to. By the enlightened, look at this body. These people have killed an inquisitor, and they probably made us come here so that we too meet the same fate. I doubt it. They would have attacked us immediately. Let's see what they have to say to us. I came following the instructions you had left the secretary of our embassy, but I wasn't expecting to find you near the corpse of a member of the Ordo Luminis. And we didn't think that the Anol Menawi we were told about would come with another son. Stop. This one is different. And we need their help. We were told that there was a woman different from the other Enaikse amongst the Lugaid Blau. Someone who sometimes helped our people. This is why we talked to the man in the large house. But we don't really know who you are. My name is Desade. I'm the legate of the congregation. It means that I'm in charge of the diplomacy with the other nations. And yes, I have helped your people a few times. A diplomat is someone who talks, right? Not someone who fights. <laughs> I know how to fend for myself, if that's your question. But will you tell me why you made me come here? Two nights ago. We attacked a group of Red Sons who were taking away some of our people. Many of them fled. But we captured this man, and we made him talk. We wanted to know where they took our brothers. And he talked about a secret camp. Why would the Inquisition take natives to a secret camp? To confuse their minds. They torture them until they renounce the truth and praise the Sun. This Red Sun was mocking us. He said they would burn us, like the others. He had killed some of my brothers, so I killed him. I don't have a lot of affection for the Ordo Luminous, but I doubt this man deserved such a fate. And did our people deserve to be burned? No, of course not. That's not what I meant. If what you say is true, then indeed, we cannot let the Inquisitors continue. But, because you killed them, we can only take your word for it. Maybe not. The Red Sun had a key on him. And also some words sealed in bark. We do not know how to set them free. But the Renaik say do, don't they? The letter ordered this man to join the escort party of a group of captives. This partly confirms what you told me. Do the words say where the camp is located? No. But the address of the Inquisitor is written. What is an address? This is how we refer to the place we live in. I suppose the key you found is the key to his door. So you can go to his house and look for more words? I suppose so. You must do it. Or the suns will keep burning our people. What's your opinion, Petrus? This warrior isn't wrong. Even though I disapprove of her methods. If we let the Ordo Luminous continue to do this, we will have the same problems with the natives as the Alliance. Very well. I will go visit this man's home. I will come back to you if I learn anything more. Hurry! Our brothers may be dying in the meantime. Go back to town. We'll wait for you here. We need to know where they are taking our brothers. through the secrets of the living, but the dead, on the other hand, I feel like I'm desecrating a tomb. This letter mentions a secret camp. Apparently our man was involved in its creation. 
It also talks about a chest he would have had. In the quarters of the Order, here in San Mateus, we may find clues there that will allow us to discover the location of the camp. If this chest exists, there must be a key. It has to be here. Let's continue searching. Most likely the key to a chest, with the emblem of the Ordo Luminous. I don't think we'll find anything else here. Let's leave and see what this chest contains. Hey, you! Who are you? And what are you doing in Father Claudius's home? De Sarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. My colleague has been away for the last few days. May I know exactly what it is about your status as a diplomat that gives you the right to enter his home in his absence? To be truthful, my friend is only accompanying me. I am the one who was visiting this home, precisely because I was hoping to find out where Father Claudius might be. I was sent by the Cardinal Mother, of course. Really? Well, I find that very strange. Why would the Mother Cardinal ask that some strangers who do not belong to our order try to find him? How would we know? Perhaps you'd like us to go find her together. I'm sure she'll be delighted to see how you've been treating the representative of one of her allies. That won't be necessary, but know that I am keeping an eye on you. As you wish. I hope I don't see you again, Father. This snake gave up too quickly. I suspect that we'll soon meet our new friend again. We should make use of this moment of respite to go visit the quarters of the Order and find the chest there. Let's hope they aren't infested with members of the Inquisition. Thanks to these documents, we'll be able to show the natives where the conversion camp is, and the times when new prisoner convoys will get there too. I hope the warriors will find a discreet way to set their comrades free. Attacking a camp of the Order could quickly turn into a slaughter for both sides. I did. I found some information that should allow you to locate the conversion camp. 
And I also found a note about a prisoner convoy coming soon. Why come and tell us all of this if your intention is just to betray us? Betray you? How so? You're not the ones this so-called legate betrayed. We are. And that a missionary as eminent as you has helped her, Petrus. I would never have thought it possible. The Ordo Luminous is prepared to start waging a merciless war against the natives, with the sole purpose of converting them in a secret camp which is nothing but a torture room. <laughs> and you dare to show such disdain towards me? I take it as a compliment. What are you talking about? Are you saying Claudius managed to complete his great conversion camp project? Don't pretend that you did not know. I did not, but now that I do, I will do everything in my power to continue his work. And the first step will be to eliminate those who would denounce us. The Mother Cardinal focuses too much on politics, when she should be following her faith instead. We will fight these monsters by your side, on Olmenawi. Maybe you like to protect the others, Thank you. You don't have to thank me. These men were our enemy. The monsters torturing my people. It would be best if nobody in Teleme caught wind of our involvement in this matter. Even though the actions of the Order are very questionable, we might be held responsible for these men's deaths. You're right, Father. It would be regrettable if this matter were to put our alliance in jeopardy. Do not worry about it. We won't tell them. And we will make these bodies disappear. Nobody will ever know what happened to them. Except for our mal, of course. Queen Derdra will be grateful to you for helping us. I hope this will help our relations in the future. In any case, do not worry about this camp. She will not let our people be imprisoned. She may even ask for your help in destroying it. Perhaps. In the meantime, please give her my regards. Bertir to Madon, Olmenawi. And thanks again.